Welcome back for another video guys and today is the first installment of the duck calling tutorials that I'm going to be doing. I did this in the past but I think I can do a better job of explaining things this time. And the two things that you're going to need, one is a duck call and two is time because you're not going to be able to duck call like a professional the first day that you get a duck call. It takes a lot of practice. I even need practice and I've been duck hunting for a while. The best way I can tell you how to practice and the way that I always practiced was when I was driving somewhere I just practiced duck calling. And even if I didn't have a call, I would actually practice just going through the motions with like the airflow. And I'll, I'll go into this a little bit later, but I would practice that if I didn't have my duck call. And that comes into play when you're practicing a feeder call and that's for sure. So today is over the quack. And the quack is the most basic call that you're gonna use when you're duck hunting. And it's a call that leads into other calls that you're gonna be doing. To learn the quack, it's really simple. I'll give you an example of what the quack sounds like here. That's on a single read, this is on a double read. First of all, you need to learn how to hold a call. And to hold it, you're gonna just stick your hand out, put the call in the crotch of your thumb and your finger, close it, and then put your hand around it. And I like to leave these two fingers out and leave kind of like a golf ball sized space in there. The reason you want to do that is it, you get different tones with the way that you hold your hand. If it's open, it doesn't sound that great. But when you get just a little bit of back pressure coming through, so you blow through, it's giving back pressure back through the barrel of the call, it sounds a lot better. You need to find that happy point with your call. After that, you want to learn how to control your air. When you're blowing a duck call, you want all the air to come from your gut. So like in choir class, they used to always tell you to sing from your diaphragm. Same thing, except you're blowing a duck call and killing ducks. So to do that, you just wanna compress your abs and really bring the air up from there. And don't be puffing out your cheeks or putting the air from your chest into your throat. You just want it to just be one constant stream coming up from your diaphragm up and out. To do the quack, it's really simple. And people come up with different words to like say into your call. But after learning it, you really don't say those words anymore. And for the quack, the word is hoot. I was always taught to just say hoot or oot into your call because you want to have that openness, the oot, and then you want to cut it off with a T, hoot, and then you have a quack coming through your call. Coming through the back of the call, it sounds like this. So you want to have that hard cut off, and that's going to come into play later on in these other calls that we're going to talk about. You bring the air up, hoot, and you cut it off. So you're going hoot with your tongue. Your tongue is just gonna cut it off right in the roof of your mouth. And you wanna relax your jaw and you wanna put the call to your lips just like you're drinking out of a Coke bottle. <coughs> when you cut off with your tea, you don't wanna have extra air come through. I say oot, but that's just to kinda of get the sound out. You would just wanna go oot, oot, and just cut it off and don't let any air through. So it's gonna all come together and go about like this. <coughs> In the back of the call, it sounds like this. If you guys notice, I do move my fingers when I call. You don't necessarily need to do that. You can just... But I like to move it, but you don't have to have magic hands or anything. You just kind of... I like to kind of make it so the sound comes out like a duck opening its mouth. It's kind of the same concept. So that's pretty much it when it comes down to doing the quack. Just remember, hold your duck call the right way, bring the air up from your diaphragm, and cut it off, and don't let any extra air through. It's gonna take a lot of practice, but after you master this call, you're gonna be able to move into other things and really put all the sequences that we use in duck hunting together. If you guys wanna pick up a hat like this, go over to mallywackeroutfitters.com. There's a link in the description of this video. You can also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys learned how to duck call. And I will catch you on the next one.